So we're back at the CBC Squash Courts um, with Mr. LK. He is currently the chief coach um, for the Egyptian side. The Egyptian side has seen massive success. Um, the men's have just finished. They've won their, two, their games. Uh, and the coach here was actually called up, or rather forced into action, as one of his um, players was unable to come um, due to some mishaps. So, coach, firstly, how does it feel to be playing after such a long time? I know you didn't expect it, this was just something you had to do. How does it feel? Yeah, we, we have one player, it was Seif uh, Shinewi. He uh, missed the flight because of some papers there and uh, he's, he's arriving today. So uh, I had to replace him in the team and to play uh, instead of him today. I shouldn't supposed to play, I just I'm coming as a coach for the Egyptian team. And uh, I had to play the game to replace him. Wow, see, so he had no intention of coming, um, he's their coach, their primary coach, he trains them um, in Egypt, um, but he, he still managed to make a plan, and from what I saw, you were extremely good, you haven't lost anything. I, it, it was physically you not know, tough for me, because I didn't play games, maybe the last time, it was in 2010 or something, 15 years ago wow. or something, to play games, and I'm not used to play games in Egypt, uh, or to compete even locally, I just coach and just feeding the players there. So for me to play, uh, I knew it's going to be tough physically. Yeah. So it, it was. I was too love up, and then I lost it all physically. I couldn't continue till the end. Yeah. So it, it was. From what I saw, it, it was a, a game of skill versus a game of fitness and power. Yeah, and he was very fit. And yeah, he was extremely yeah, yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah. He's he right. Was extremely strong. But anyway, it was a valiant attempt. I mean, it was the best you could do given the circumstances, yeah. and you put up a really good fight. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it, your or rather I should say, um, the team will be very proud of you. <laughs> and yeah. so, um, moving forward now, um, what do you hope, um, or what does Egypt hope to achieve in this tournament? Uh, we want to win, we want to come first in the individual and we want to come first in the teams as well. So we're, we're not coming here to, to just to compete, we're coming to, to take the trophy. We're not just here coming to compete. I hope to, to just, that. No, no, I mean we're yeah. not coming yeah, to, to win. Just to, we're coming to win the tournament. We're not coming to just, you know, like to, to, to be happy to uh, came second or third or fourth or whatever. No, we're coming to win the tournament. And Egypt does have a world-renowned reputation for the men's. They they hold the top men's positions and so on. But you you you've brought a lot of young players. Yes. Um, I've I've, interview, I've interviewed a number of them, um, and for them it's their first time. So what are you hoping from them? What do you think they should be aiming for? Well, all the players that we have here, the, the, the ladies' team, uh, are all juniors uh, and they're competing in the PSA. And uh, we, 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 they're all prepared, they're all coming from other tournaments, they're playing PSA and they're doing well. We have number three in the world, the junior here, she's competing with Mark Kenzie. And the other two uh, girls also are very tough and they're playing in the PSA. So I'm expecting from them to win. Okay, and it's, it will be a very good tournament for them and it's challenging also to, to play here and to play with the senior uh, team of Africa, all the, play, all the players and all the national teams. So it's a challenge and it's, it's a good reward for them if they can win that. Yeah, so, so it, it, they are juniors but they're extremely talented yes, they are. and from what we've seen I can, I can certainly prove that. Uh, expectations are high but skills are there. Thank you so yeah, much for your time.